If you've grown up thinking that you're left or right brain, you have only been using half of your potential. Anthony here for DNews, and one of the most persistent myths of modern science is the idea of the left-brained and right-brained personality. You know, like, I'm left-handed, so I'm probably right-brained, which makes me better at the arts, more creative. But I'm not very logical or analytical, because the left hemisphere of my brain would have to be dominant for that. But the thing is, that is not true. After a two-year brain imaging study of over 1,000 people, researchers from the University of Utah saw no evidence of hemisphere dominance at all. Looking at the resting activity levels of all the subjects' brains, no one was defaulting to either side. And when they were active, they were just using the parts of their brain that were situationally appropriate. Now, there are functions that are more related to one side of the brain than the other. Uh, language, for instance, hangs out on the left side for most people, attention on the right. That's called lateralization. But honestly, just about everything you do actually uses connections across multiple regions of the brain in both hemispheres. All the bits of your brain are linked together in complex ways. Parts of it can even be reappropriated. Stroke sufferers and other injury victims have shown that common activities can be taken on by other parts of the brain when one fails. Blind people can actually reappropriate their visual cortex to process more sound. The left brain, right brain myth probably started in the 1800s. Scientists noticed that an injury to a particular side of the brain caused a person to lose specific abilities. Then in the 1960s, sufferers of epilepsy were given these surgeries to sever the connections between the hemispheres of their brain. It was called a corpus colostomy. And after their surgeries, the patients behaved normally. But if you showed something to only one side of their field of vision, which means the information only gets sent to one hemisphere of the brain, strange things happen. If their right brain was shown an image of an object, they couldn't say what they had seen, but their left hand could pick up a matching object from the table in front of them. Now, it's easy to look at these results and say, oh, if you're visually creative, you must use your right brain more often. But you can also look at those results and see just how important the involvement of both hemispheres is to any single thing that we do. Studies of people gifted in language and math show that they have better communication between both sides of their brain, not just a hyperactive left side. So, what does make us more adept at one thing than another? Uh, environment, exposure to certain situations, practice. If you wanna be more creative, just keep at it. If you wanna be more analytical, just force yourself into more situations where you need to be, and neuroplasticity will mean that your brain will eventually change and rise to the occasion. The left brain, right brain thing is still good as a metaphor. I feel like I'm an extremely right brain person, but just don't take it as anything more than a metaphor. And now that you are free from the tyranny of hemisphere dominance, what do you want to go out and learn? I would like to be more organized. That is going to take a while. Let me know what you want to do down below and subscribe for more D News.